Welcome to my tutorial on function decorators in Python. In this tutorial, I only cover basic things over function decorators and why we need them. To understand function decorators, we need some basic understanding of functions in Python. Let's start first with a very simple example. In this example, I have addition function which takes two arguments and return their sum. Now in main, I call my addition function. As you can see, I get integer value 4 as a result. So far everything was very simple and straightforward. Now as you may know everything in Python is an object. In Python functions are also first class objects. Similarly classes, individual instances and even modules are also first class objects in Python. In a nutshell a first class object means that there are no restrictions on that object like it can be passed as argument in other function etc. So again everything in Python is an object. So if functions are also objects I can also assign a function to a variable, like I assign an integer object to a variable. Let's see an example. Here I have a variable my variable 1 and I assign the function addition to my variable 1. Note there are no parentheses after addition function. So I am not calling addition function but assigning my variable to addition function. Now I can call my function using my variable 1 with parentheses, like I would have done with addition function. Now if you print type and id of both my variable 1 and addition function, you can see both are of type function and they have same id until I call the functions addition or my variable 1 with different arguments. Now let's move further. Similarly I can define functions inside other functions, so called nesting. Here I have function addition squared which contains my square function. My square function returns the square of both a and b addition. Squaring is same as raising to the power 2. In last line I call my square function inside my addition squared function. Now in main I have called the addition squared function. As you can see I get integer value 9 as a result. Similarly a function can be passed as parameter and a function can also return a function. Let's see an example. Here I have again function addition which takes two arguments and add them together. Now the next function which I named as squared takes a function as an argument. Inside squared function I have nested function get square which also takes two arguments. In next line inside my nested get square function I call any func with get square function arguments. Note any func is the function which I previously passed as an argument in squared function. Now I put the result in my result variable. In next line I return my result variable. Now in squared function I return get square function. Note I am not calling get square function because there are no parentheses. I am just returning a function. Now in main I assign the squared function which has addition function as argument to variable a. Now I can call variable a as function and it returns the sum and square of both arguments. Now the question arises why I need something like that. Imagine if I have not only addition function but also other functions like subtraction division, modulus, etc. or something more complex and I want result to be squared. Let's see an example. Now I have new function which I named as multiplication in which I multiply both arguments. Now I want the result of multiplication to be squared. To get the square of my multiplication, I just need to pass my multiplication function as an argument in squared function and I will get the desired result. Now you know what decorators are and why you need them. Now Python provides something more interesting. Python allows you to simplify the usage of decorators using add symbol. So let's see what I mean with help of an example. Here I have my old squared function which takes a function as an argument. Inside my squared function I have get square function which calls any func. So I didn't change anything in squared function. Now I have my old addition function but before defining my addition function I have to write name of decorator which starts with add symbol. So it is same as writing addition equals squared parenthesis addition function. Now in main I can call my addition function. Similarly I can rewrite my multiplication function. I hope now you understand function decorators in python. Thank you for watching and please subscribe my channel for future videos.